The world of fitness and dieting is a big and scary place if you like cold hard facts, which we do obviously. However, whether you swear by pseudoscientific smoothie detoxes or you're all about that gains life bra, we can all agree that we all have muscles, and they're pretty interesting from a scientific point of view. And while we may not be able to make you swole for the power of video, we can explain three interesting facts about muscles and how they work. Why do our muscles burn during exercise? Sorry, I had to change to my scientist clothes for this one. You see, it's scientifically proven that audiences are more likely to believe myth-defying facts if they're delivered by someone in a lab coat. We don't have the statistics to back that up, but hey, you're gonna believe me anyway, because I'm wearing a lab coat. Anyway, back to the point. You know what, when you're in that hip spinning class, that totally dreamy instructor, and he screams at you to feel the burn, and your legs are literally on fire? Well, that burning sensation you get during strenuous exercise happens because your muscles are demanding more oxygen than your heart and lungs can supply. This is often blamed on lactate, as it's thought to be the cause of lactic acidosis, a painful buildup of acid within the muscles leading to fatigue and soreness. But this is actually a myth. The acid that causes the muscles to burn is a normal side effect of energy use, and lactate actually acts to neutralize the acid. During intense exercise, muscles demand huge quantities of the energy molecule ATP, produced in the mitochondria of muscle cells. Each time a molecule is split, a hydrogen ion is released. If the muscle is receiving enough oxygen, this acid is used as part of the normal metabolic processes of the cell. But if not, this acid starts to build up, causing the muscles to burn. As glucose is broken down to create more ATP, two molecules of pyruvate are generated. This pyruvate can hold on to two more hydrogen ion molecules, mopping up the acid to become lactate, which itself can be broken down to produce more energy. What are DOMS? It sounds like the latest trend in party drugs, but you probably have heard your friends complaining about DOMS after leg day at the gym, unless they skip leg day, in which case they're not your friends. DOMS stands for Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness, and it's basically muscle aches one to two days after strenuous exercise. It's different from acute muscle soreness, which is felt during or directly after exercise. If the microscopic structures of the muscles is damaged during exercise, particularly during unfamiliar movements or new exercises, the onset of pain is delayed. This is followed by inflammation. As the damage is repaired, fluid floods into the muscle tissue, causing it to become hard and tender. It takes three to five days to repair damaged muscle, and afterwards your muscle will be more resistant to the same kind of damage. Does muscle turn to fat when you stop working out? This little factoid you got from Big Steve, who lives at the right end of the dumbbell rack at your local gym, is a flat out lie. That's right, Big Steve lied to you. You can't trust anyone. Basically, you can't turn fat into muscle, and muscle can't be turned into fat, as they're made of entirely different cells. Muscles are long, thin fibers that increase in mass during training, this is called hypertrophy, while not working out decreases their size, this is atrophy. In contrast, the globular fat cells that are layered over your muscle tissue grow and shrink dependent on your dietary intake as well as exercise. So if you're feeling a bit pudgy after an extended holiday to the Bahamas, it's not because your muscles have turned against you after all those hours they spend in the gym getting ripped. It's probably because they've shrunk, making your fatty tissue more noticeable and your calorie intake is probably more suited to your previous active lifestyle and you don't need all that extra energy anymore. So there you have it, lactic acid is not the villain, and muscles can't magically turn into fat. For more interesting facts on science and knowledge, click the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.